a note on the Wizard of Lies a TV movie a movie made for television which was launched only yesterday last night uh, in Romania I'm, I'm not sure about other markets but still it's a new production 2017 um, Robert De Niro Michel Pfeiffer finally finally I see De Niro I mean in the uh, latest years in a role which is worthier it's not uh, what we know from the you know it's not raging bull king of comedy casino good fellas taxi driver and so many more but still it is a more interesting uh, proposition than the intern for instance so we have an infamous uh, character Benny Madoff the one who has created a Ponzi scheme and he has cheated so many people uh, convinced them into giving him billions it's true in, in many ways it made sense this was uh, known as a brilliant investor a man with excellent track record only in the past 10 years I mean the 10 years before he was uh, indicted um, he he created false accounts well, everything he, he did was just a, a series of lies hence the title the wizard of lies um, uh, from the beginning we see him ready to uh, surrender so to say to, to turn himself in he, gets, he gathers his family Michel uh, Pfeiffer is uh, uh, his wife in the film and the family especially the sons are flabbergasted they are horrified how could you do this to, to us don't worry there will be a few hundred millions left if I, I'm not mistaken I don't have the figure wrong and so you'll be taken care of yes but how could you do this indeed the sons take this very seriously one of them no spoiler alert so I will not say but he he does take some I mean one dramatic measure um, and they are confronted by people they know friends investors who are very angry of course with Benny Mano who lost uh, billions in some cases people committed suicide and many lost uh, not just large sums of money and I remember one case of this man who is in a retired home he invested 95% of all he had with Benny Mano there are some who are greedy I remember this situation we're in we have the the other key element uh, Benny Mano did all this pyramid scheme mostly by himself but he had someone who worked with him and deceived the clients and he was an insider uh, not the sons the sons were kept pretty much out of I mean altogether out of this uh, secret but this guy to 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 in order to give us his profile they they have this scene uh, by the sea there's a meal where Madoff also shows an ugly face he throws uh, uh, plates uh, around uh, don't you know about the lobster this is how you bring the lobster he's so mean and, and obnoxious but anyway let's add on Hank Azaria is the actor playing this guy his partner in crime talks about women in a demeaning sexist uh, disgusting way look that one is a Honda you're not proud to go out with a Honda but it takes you from A to B and it serves the purpose uh, then you have the I think he says Buick uh, it's comfortable it's much bigger if you have plenty of room to put it in he talks about slippers and putting but you don't put your penis he has another more vulgar term for this in in your slippers and he talks in this uh, arrogant and as I said uh, uh, terrible way to reach the Mercedes-Benz uh, look at that one over there 
don't worry, it's not for you. You never get one of those. I mean, it's a Mercedes Benz. Uh, expensive. You have to spend with the upkeep. You have to uh, polish it, wax it, talk to it. Uh, but it's a Mercedes Benz. Wonderful machinery. Great. To, this is the, the type of people reminds one of uh, Golden Gecko. Uh, the infamous uh, man played marvelously by Michael Douglas in Wall Street um, Oliver Stone so this is the idea and we have also the other type of investor this man who comes and says I want to give my money no no I can't I have all the uh, 50 million no no I have 70 uh, it's not you know I have a limited number of 100 it would mean taking somebody who's loyal out to, to make room for you. Uh, 150. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me how much. Well, if it's 400, then we can. Okay, 400. It's a deal. Okay. So, there are some who are desperate to throw their hundreds of millions of dollars away to Benny Mandoff. Who, from at that point, was uh, desperate because the pyramid scheme. You know, at one point it collapses because there, there's no more new money uh, and anyway, not enough to pay uh, everyone involved. Film was good.